It's week three of the Tuakau build and the Global Village team have returned for their last week of building. With the second house under construction, it's time for Kurt to begin building up his sweat equity hours. They put in their own labour, we call it sweat equity. Uh, they have to be 500 hours for each of the houses. That's quite a bit when you think about it, it's three months full time. Each day that Kurt comes on site, we register it in the book. So now all I do is fill in how many hours he's been here and then we have a record of his attendance on site. And here I was a single mum having to do 500 hours sweat equity and work full time and be a mum to my children. I was like, how am I ever, ever going to get this done? But we'd come along every Saturday and work on Margaret's house and Wendy's house and the kids would come and help too, the teenagers, so we'd get hours for them. And we managed to complete our sweat equity hours last year before we even started on our house. We find that if they're involved in the building process, so they can say, oh, I painted that wall or I put that shelf in or something like that. And, and, uh, and also they see, they see the house being built from the inside out. We've got the first five years are treated as rent, so you're paying like a, a rent each week and then at the end of five years that all is used as equity and it comes together for the deposit. Then you enter into an agreement with Habitat and you have another five years where you're not renting, you're paying, paying a mortgage, but it's interest free, so you're not paying any interest for your first 10 years. So putting the insulation in, we put all the pipes in for the, for the kitchen. They've put on the bar. Oh, That's ready. And yeah, yeah, all, all the piping's all together. Um, the shower, they've put the shower base down. The most awesome thing is to know that I helped build this house. So this is a labour of love. I guess that makes it extra special. I got to pick the bench tops and the colour of the cupboards nice. and they fitted the kitchen in for the fridge. So it was sort of made to measure, which is pretty cool, makes you feel very important. So this is the upstairs. This is the upstairs. Come and have a look. I like my cat sleeping up here because he always comes in my room every night or he comes down the bottom one and sleeps on my leg. I like him when he curls up and like a bull. Hi, Hi. my name is Lauren. Hi, my name is Sky, And we share our room. We put our clothes up there and we put our shoes down on the floor. This is my bed and this is Sky's bed. I and like sleeping with my two D. This is just so spacious. You know, I put some photos up um, because I can. I can do anything I want. People do not know um, what goes into building a house. And I came out of Mum's tummy last. I've got a healthy respect for the building industry. They make it look so easy and it's not. It's hard work and I tell you, I still can't hammer a nail by myself, but love that nail gun. Kurt and Heidi's home is near completion. With a team of young volunteers prepping the walls, it's finally time to begin painting. Today we've got some cuss seven formers. At the moment they're inside um, sanding and stuff, but they're really, they want to get on and do some paintings. Um, I'm doing the polyfilling. So I'm putting polyfiller in the little nail holes like this. And then once the polyfiller's dry, then we'll sand it down and then it's ready to paint. I'm basically just sweeping the room down, getting rid of the dust, prepping it for painting. Our service committee um, asked for volunteers to work on the building today, so that's what we're all here doing. We're a little bit behind schedule, but I probably expect we'll get the first coat on today with the, um, with the amount of volunteers we've got. It's Heidi's first time with paintbrush in hand, so she's keen to get some guidance. Heidi and Kurt, they were selected uh, much closer to the build time than we would normally have, and the house got built quite quickly, so they had to really uh, get stuck in. Way. So you're trying to get those lines out and it'll be a nice smooth finish. This is my veggie garden, this is kind of like my pride and joy. Once again I got the wood out of the skips. Many of the families that we have on site have never had a, a tool in their hand. 
remember when we first started to build the houses, you had to do the framing for the concrete. So I knew how to bang pegs into the ground and to put the wood on them. They get uh, some confidence and uh, they're pre even prepared to do some of their home maintenance themselves once they have learned how to use tools. With my new garden, I wanted to kind of try and be a little bit organic and healthy. So I decided I'd get a worm farm. I went to my return and they were really expensive. So I did some search on the internet and Christchurch City Council had a plan on how to make one out of old tyres. So we got the newspaper and tyres and have just sort of been processing it now. And we've got a worm farm, it's amazing. There's loads of worms in there, if you have a dig around. It's, it's really exciting. Hi, this is my room. I love this view, nice clean windows. You've got a nice view of outside on the road and you, I can see where my friends turn up. Just the fact that it's our house, it's a good feeling. I think it's really good for their self-esteem, really, really builds them up and gives them that sense of, you know, wow, I matter. But I guess we were really blessed with the last team who came in July, just before our house was completed. We were a team of women, which was awesome. One of them was an artist, and she said she paints in the fashion houses in New York. This is my bedroom, and um, while we were building the house, um, these people from America, um, this lady was an artist, and she came and she um, did this mural for me because I like butterflies. These curtains over here by my window. What we did is we picked a colour that we liked from the habitat selection. Then they would come and they'd put the curtains in. This is my mural. Uh, we had this um, artist come over from America and she painted it for me. And I drew this picture on a piece of paper and then I bring it back the next day and she was like, oh yeah, we can, we, uh, we can paint this on your wall. And so we went and got these paints and stuff from the paint shop and came back and we painted this. Education is one of the things that really comes through. We've had many of our families that have gone for skills enhancement, get certificates or degrees or diplomas or whatever it might be, and that's really heartening. This is our lounge. My goal was to build the house, to so have all that time, to graduate, which I did. The last five months I've been working for West Force Credit Union, and it's an awesome experience. And this is the entrance to the turtle garage. So this is our basement and uh, the washing dryer. So we've also got plenty of storage underneath, so it's actually underneath the stair. Wow, so it's really cool. I think this was the first room that we painted in the house. It's really cool, yeah. Yeah. To know that we like don't ever change house and don't move anymore. And our house is really, really better, it's great. So what were they like? All mouldy and they were small. Nothing as big as this. This room is very special because um, my mum and my um, sister, they actually bought it with some other people and I didn't think that my sis big sister could do that much stuff like boarding. When I found out that she could do the um, other stuff, I was really amazed. Once they get into the house, they know what their expenses are and they know that they can keep going. Uh, they start thinking much further into the future. And I've got 10 years, 10 years to um, pay my mortgage. So that's, that's my goal. I'm feeling inside of it. After three months, Kurt and Heidi's home is finally finished and Habitat is having a handing over the keys ceremony. And I want to give you all a very, very warm welcome today. I want to introduce you to Mike Burke. He's a hard man to miss because he's about eight feet tall, but he's one of our original Habitat families in Manukau and has continued to be, and I think is unashamedly probably the most dedicated volunteer and supporter of Habitat New Zealand. Mike's going to hand the keys over to Kurt and Heidi. Thanks, Mike. My view is that it brings the community together because when you get people from lots of different walks of life coming together, working together for a common purpose. That's just got a, a community strengthening aspect to it. Thank you very much, um, Kurt, for your dedication to the job and um, for all the good effort you've put in. It's really been a pleasure working with you and Heidi. Heidi, thank you very much for your commitment to the job as well. It's been great. Who are we to deserve this? You know, who are we that all these people would come and help us build our house and do it with such love? and. Go the extra mile, it's incredible. This is a bathroom. 
Kids really like the bar. Yeah. So, this is me and Heidi's room, and I'm working with Ward It's all about volunteers. Just having a foundation for my, me and my babies is, uh, you know, I'm grateful. This is going to be one of the boys' rooms. We're not sure who's in. But it actually looks quite nice how it, how it looks. You know, we have our own house. I'm paying um, a mortgage and it's manageable. Habitat have just made everything possible. This program was funded by New Zealand On Air.